What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I'm doing another story time video, so I've been debating on this. So story time videos are kind of like a thing on YouTube. In the addiction recovery world, we call these war stories, and nobody wants to hear them. Like, I'm a drug addict. Most of you know I've done some messed up stuff. I've integrated them a little into other videos, but Here's my thoughts behind this. I wanna start doing more of these to kind of show you the, the difference between where I used to be and where I'm at now. If I can somehow convey to you how mentally unhealthy I used to be, then maybe you'll start listening to me a little bit more because you're recognizing how mentally healthy I am now. So if you can compare and contrast those two things, you might be like, hmm, if a guy who was as screwed up as that can get better, maybe I can too. So this video is about my war with the local Las Vegas weatherman. And this is a story about how insane I used to be. And this is not even drug or alcohol related. This goes back to my anger issues. A lot of my mental health issues stemmed from anger. So I have a lot of these stories of the insane shit that I used to do. So please follow along and please watch the whole video. Like, I know this is gonna be funny. This is everybody's favorite story for some reason, probably because I'm a lunatic. But by the end of this story, I'm going to keep of my theme where I talk about the solution. So bear with me. All right, so let me set, let me set the stage for you real quick. All right, so this is back when my son was a baby. He was just first born. It was within the first year, probably the six, first six months. I had a job, lost it. It was in 2009 when the economy was crashing. The dealership I was working at had massive layoffs and it eventually shut down. So I was a stay-at-home dad. And something that I did as a stay-at-home dad while uh, my son's mom was out working was I would sit and watch the news like all day long. Just all day long. I would watch morning, afternoon, night news. And I started to hate the weatherman. I hated the weatherman so much. So here in Las Vegas, pretty typical, it's hot. It's hot in the summer, right? But we also get like flash floods. And not a lot, not a lot of people know this, but we do get flash floods. My high, my high school apartment actually got flooded. I lost like pretty much everything that I had owned up until high school, all gone from a flood, all right? So watching the weatherman, I used to get so mad. I used to get just so angry because I would watch the forecast either the night before or that morning and they'd be like, all right, we got sunny skies today. Yeah, da, 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 right? And then that afternoon, it is just pouring rain. Or they say, you know, it's gonna be 90 degrees today and then it's like 110. And I would sit there and I would watch the morning forecast and it would be completely wrong. And then in the afternoon, the, the weatherman would just hop on and then he would just be like, well, Looks like it's raining outside, so make sure you wear your jackets. And I'm like, this motherfucker isn't even gonna apologize. He's not even gonna say sorry to his audience. He's just gonna act like he didn't poorly predict the weather this morning. And that kind of stuff infuriated me. I, I hated the fact that this guy, especially because I hated the world, I hated the fact that this guy was getting paid a ton of money to basically just be wrong. Like, I was like, what good are you? What what good is a weatherman if you can't even accurately uh, predict the forecast, especially with all these machines and they talked about this Doppler thing they have. And I was just like, why do, why do they even pay you? And you're just so unapologetic. So the weatherman in particular was this guy named Darren Peck here in Las Vegas. If any of you are local to Las Vegas, you might remember Darren Peck and I'm hoping what I did didn't run him out of Las Vegas. But anyways, one of the things that made me so mad was whenever they would uh, introduce Darren Peck, they'd be like, and this is Darren Peck. He is a member of the National Meteorologist Society. So like Darren Peck was put on this pedestal of being like the weather dude in Las Vegas, right? Member of the National Meteorologist Society, right? So when he was wrong, I'm like, what good is this National Meteorologist Society if dude can't even predict the weather? And then at the end of the segments, they would be like, you know, uh, for all the news, team members, they were like, hey, here's our emails if you ever wanna reach out and talk to us, da, 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 da. So Darren Peck had his email address on there and all this rage was building up in me for so long that I finally decided to send Darren Peck a very angry email. And this was back in 2009 and my girlfriend, she thinks it's a hilarious story. My clients always think it's a hilarious story. And today I was like, I wonder if that email is still in my sent emails and I looked it up 
and it is. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna read it together. And as I read it, I'm going to point out my, my insanity and we're gonna talk a little bit about it. And uh, you'll see it pop up on the screen here. So get ready and follow along. So let's take a look at this. Hi, Darren. I'm a long time watcher, first time writer. First off, I would like to say that you're one of the better weather people in Las Vegas. Now, I would just like to ask if you can give me some insight as to why weather people never bring up the fact that they, are, they or their Doppler were wrong. Last night on the news, 623, so I, I dated it. And here's what's interesting about this. 623 was actually my birthday. Like, why was I so angry on my birthday? So anyways, last night on the news, 623, the forecast was a clear day with clouds coming in late the following night from Arizona that may or may not hit Vegas. Next thing you know, it's pouring in certain areas of town in the middle of the afternoon today, 624. And the forecast is now that tonight, it is going to be clear skies after this last bit of moisture passes through the southwest part of town. Like, see, I paid attention to that, that weather, okay? So here's where it gets ridiculous. All right, so I just wanna know, <laughs> I just wanna know what kind, of, what kind of school you all go to in order to become a weather person. It really seems like you all just play a guessing game on a day-to-day -day basis and just kind of sit there and don't really care if you're right or wrong. Like, why am I so mad? Um, do I care if you're right or wrong? Not always, but sometimes when I am worried about whether my child and his mother are going to get surprised by these sudden showers when the forecast was clear skies. So here's something that angry people do all the time. We manipulate the situation and we give these extremes like, we try to justify our anger. So what I was doing here is a manipulation for to justify my anger. I'm trying to use the excuse of my son and his mom, and this is why I'm angry. Like, that really wasn't it. That really wasn't it. I know what I was thinking back then. I was just upset that this guy was wrong and was completely unapologetic about it. So ask yourself if you do this when you're angry, all right? pull in other people to make your story a little bit more extreme. Anyways, it says, other than that, I wanna know how much you guys get paid to play this guessing game on a day-to-day -day basis, and whether or not you get some sort of bonus from the, station, from the station on the off chance you actually get the forecast correct. Sorry about my rants, Darren. Love ya, love what you do, but for some reason I have never really respected weather people because it is very rare that I see they are correct. Your fan, Chris Boutte. Like what? <laughs> Why would I end it like that? Your fan, Chris Boutte. And like, does this weather guy, and that's the thing too. So many of us are so selfish and self-centered, like we actually think these people care. Like the reality is Darren Peck probably never even read this email or if he did, he probably just brushed it off, right? But like, does, does this guy really care about the respect he gets from one of his viewers? Most likely not, but it gets better. I added a PS. PS, why do all the weather people in Vegas get happy when it's going to be over 100 degrees in town? Only two things come from that people being miserable and morons leaving their kids in cars unattended. <laughs> you should all look very sad when the temperature is going to be that high. The only really good thing that comes from it is that Money Tree makes donations. <laughs> I just, I, I had to throw that in there. But yeah, that's like a thing, like whether people in Las Vegas, they get all like cheery, like, hey, it's gonna be 110 degrees today. And like, to me, like, that's not a fun time, but you know, a lot of people do enjoy that heat. A lot of people go swimming and that's their time and da 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 da. I'm not a summer person as a fat guy who sweats a lot. I am not a summer person, but that money tree thing, we had a, a local check cashing place here in town that they would donate um, the money for what temperature it was. So it was 110 degrees outside. They donated $110. So that's what it was, but anyways. All right, so that was my rant towards Darren Peck. And uh, and yeah, on the off chance that Darren, you somehow stumble across this video, this is my formal apology to you for being a psychopath, all right? But anyways, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is a moral to this story and like, that's the thing. So where I'm at today, these things don't bug me that much, right? Like I, for my own mental health, I, I really have to, um, prioritize what I'm going to get upset about. 
And one of the things that does not deserve the time of day to rent space in my head is the weather or the weatherman, okay? The weather is something that is completely out of my control. And that's some of the, the craziness that I was in. Like, like, not only is it out of my control, but I'm getting angry at a guy for predicting weather. And me, uh, someone who's like really into science, I know the science isn't perfect. And it's just like this kind of roundabout guess, you know? But for some reason, like back then, it just infuriated me. And some of you might get mad too, because the whole reason why I was mad was because he didn't apologize. And I don't think that's right. Like, I am some kind of dictator of what morality is and, and what people should do and when they should apologize. Like, keep in mind, this is back in 2009 when I'm unemployed, have a son who's less than a year old, and I'm a freaking drug addict and alcoholic, yet I'm sitting here preaching to somebody from some kind of moral hilltop telling them how they should act, right? So today I do not let these things bug me. Now, when it comes to the weather in particular, this is where mindfulness comes in. I literally don't check the weather. I just, I just don't. I go out, I'm like, is it cold? I open my door, I check, I look outside, are there clouds? Like that's, that's just what I do now. Mindfulness helps me realize what's out of my control and just taking it a moment at a time, a day at a time. The only time I really like look at forecasts is if I'm traveling and even still, you know, I don't travel around the world or I'm not going to the East Coast where it's snowing right now or anything like that, but, you know, some of you have heard like the news makes you miserable and like I have to be mindful of the things that upset me for really dumb reasons and I don't get involved in them any anymore. Like when I don't pay attention to them, like I don't have a reason to get angry. This doesn't mean that I don't stay in touch, uh, stay up to date with the news. Some of you have seen my other videos where I talk about news stories, but there's certain things that I just, I just don't let rent space in my head and that's to keep my sanity and my serenity, this happiness, this smile you see on my face right now, I don't get involved with things that irritate me on a regular basis, right? But on the other hand too is meditation, mindfulness, my medications also keep me a lot more stable and balanced. Things don't irritate me the way they, they used to. Like, think about it. I just, I wrote a weather guy an angry email, right? Like today, like I look at things and I'm able to show empathy I'm able to show compassion. I'm able to, you know, just put myself in that person's shoes and be like, wow, does this person really deserve to be attacked right now? You know what I mean? So anyways, hope you uh, enjoyed my insane story about the weatherman. Um, real quick side note, the last time I told this story, I was at my mom's treatment center in California and I was going over anger with her clients. I was doing a group for them. And as I was telling the story and everybody's laughing, they were laughing a lot harder than the, than the usual laughs that I get. And one of the clients in that room was the local weatherman. <laughs> so that was a really awkward moment. So I was able to make an apology to him on the off chance that Darren Peck never sees this video. But anyways, um, like I said, I wanted to do this video. I really want you guys to see how far I've come with my mental health. So you start to look at the different tools that I'm providing you with that I actually use and apply in my own life so you can see the difference between the crazy angry person I used to be and the happy, peaceful person that I am now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click the little round subscribe button. My videos are all about helping you with your mental health, so make sure you subscribe. Also, if you'd like to check out some other videos on this channel, click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. Thanks so much for watching, listening to my crazy story. I'll see y'all next time.